Good evening. We want to welcome you this evening to our musical program and thank you for joining us as we close the Sabbath and we take this opportunity to praise God through the beauty of music and also take the opportunity to show you what these students have, have accomplished musically in this past year. As we begin the program, I ask that you will bow your heads as we have, a, have an opening prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the beauty of music and for all the inspiration and the praise that we can give you through it. And uh, thank you for each one of these students that you see before you tonight and for all the, the efforts that they have put into the musical program this year. And I pray that you will give a special blessing to each one of them. And please be with our hearts this evening. Uh, bring our hearts closer to you as we worship you through the beauty of music. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 
almost rhetorical to say, have things been challenging? It's perhaps the norm rather than the exception for people to have experienced challenge today, if not tragedy. And the driving question on many lips is, my God, my God, are you there? Do you know where I am? Do you Remember me? The writer of the book of Hebrews reminds us that we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He became one of us that he might know our experience and that we might know that he knows. What condescension. What love, what amazing grace.
deepest thoughts are known. You come to me, and I am not alone. When I see your blood and body came for me, when I hear you pray in darkness and money, then I know. and I looked in scripture to see what the Bible had to say about bells. And I found there were two general passages that spoke to that word, bells. One was that there were bells attached to the hem of the priest's garment. The other I was not familiar with, actually. It was found in Zechariah, and it says that the horse's bells were to be inscribed with the words, Holiness 
to the Lord, which is the same inscription that is on the mitre of the priest. It would appear that God intends bells to remind us that God is worthy of our worship. And it's our hope that the Lord will be honored as you continue to be blessed by the ringing of the bells.
In our final numbers this evening, we have a call to commitment, and we have an invitation to eternity. In the next number, one of my college professors crafted a new setting of an old Havergill text of total surrender. It's a prayer, and it's only as we individually choose this prayer that we will be able to realize the message of the final number, which is also our prayer for you. That we might gather by the river of life, around the throne of God, offering Him our eternal praise. First, take my life. Take my wings. 
invite you to join me as I close the concert with the word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day that you've given to us. I pray that everyone here was blessed by the music that we've presented. Um, please be with us in all of our activities for the rest of the day and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. are for it'll be just a few moments for us to transition into our senior slideshow. So if you'll give the young people a chance.